Hi, this is Brandon with the Radiant Energy Systems, and we're going to be going over the diagnostic and repair procedure for Corivac B series and E series. So your first step is you're going to want to make sure your filters are clean. That is imperative when it comes to Corivac. Your next step is you're going to be checking your vacuum, and to do that, check it at the end vent and you want to see for the B series burners or the E series between two and a half and three inches of vacuum. We have one and a half inches up, one and a half inches down for a total of three inches. You could use a well calibrated digital manometer or our old school water YouTube manometer. Once you've got that out of the way, you may have multiple different legs. You'll have to check each leg to verify the vacuum. After that, you can go ahead and stir it up your system. While the burner is firing, tap into your main orifice here, or the mixing block is what we call it. So what you want to see here on the B-series burner is just about seven tenths while it's firing. To adjust, you're going to be tapped into this port on the mixing block and adjust your gas regulator up or down to get you to that seven tenths. So these gas valves are slow opening to check gas flow through your subhead, tap into your mixing block, and energize the burner. You'll see the slow opening portion of the valve start to drop into what should be around 7 tenths. With the burner off and the unit not firing, you should see the same pressure as you have on your end vent. So if you have three inches on your end vent, you should have about three inches here at your main orifice on the mixing block. If you have less than that, you have a partially clogged ceramic block. The clogged block gets mistaken for a bad gas valve all the time, so something to look out for. So this would be your ceramic block package. The only way to verify for sure that this package is bad and that it's ingested debris is by testing that port on the mixing block with the heater not firing. That's going to tell you if you have a 50% blockage up to 100% blockage. That's responsible for your gas and air mixture. If you don't have any gas and air mixture coming through, you don't have any fire. These blocks are replaceable. You chip off the furnace cement around the edge, pull the metal plate out, chip out the honeycomb, the new package assembles back together. If you find you have low vacuum pressure, the first thing to do is check for leaks in the system. The orange acoustic boot is a common spot. Any of the tubing with pinhole pricks, coupler locations, um, rotation on the vacuum pump motor. Your rotation can be going 180 degrees in the wrong direction and still pull a vacuum, but it won't pull over two inches. If you have elevated vacuum pressure at this port, don't assume that you're pulling too much air from the vacuum pump. You need to test all of your ceramic block packages. Ceramic blocks that are completely plugged up can elevate the vacuum pressure at this port, cause a no-fire situation, cause you to pull too much vacuum at the end back here. After you've gone through, checked your filters, checked your vacuum, 
if you still need to make an adjustment on the damper, the damper is located on the inlet plate to the vacuum pump, which I don't know. If you have a longer leg and a shorter leg and you're testing vacuum on each leg, the shorter leg will be pulling more vacuum. There should be in line somewhere a damper coupler, which you can see up here. So the order of operation is you will set you will set your vacuum on the longer leg at the vacuum pump and then you'll come and dial this vacuum pressure down to make your shorter leg the correct pressure. If your electrodes are fanned out or eaten away you know that you've had an extended period of overfiring the elevated vacuum, vacuum's too high. Uh, this can cause the electrodes to fan out, to be eaten away, and typically it'll cause damage to the ceramic and can possibly blow the ceramic right out of this cast iron head. Another thing to check for.